Well, more than 50 people will today be told that they have cancer. We all know someone that has been there, but there is one appointment that is about them as a person, not as a patient. Look Good Feel Better is the only worldwide cancer support charity providing free, practical support to those undergoing treatment for cancer. And we are joined by tutor Julie Upton and workshop participant Kelly Ross to celebrate over $250,000 that New Zealand has raised for the charity in July, which is a fantastic oh. amount. It's amazing. Yeah, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So I'd like to say welcome to you both. Julie, let's yeah. start with you. What's your involvement? How did you get involved with Look Good Feel Better? Well, I was actually um, in retail at the time and I had a medical background and um, a personal styling background and I just wanted to be more hands-on. So I quit my retail job Wow. just straight away and Look Good Feel Better just resonated with me as a charity. Um, so I can use both of my skills and it's the most wonderful, fulfilling role I've ever had. It's just amazing. So you got stuck straight in. So what I is did. your job as a tutor? I did. Well, I didn't start as a tutor. I actually started as a volunteer. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes. And I just did all the classes to start off with and just learnt what just everybody learned. did yep. and just fine-tuned my skills although there is training, really mm -hmm. great training. Mm -hmm. And then I was a tutor. They asked me to be a tutor at the end of last year. So I've been a tutor for about eight months now. Fantastic. It looked mm. like you're loving it. I'm now, loving it. Kelly, mm. let's talk about your trip because you are a participant. You're a cancer survivor. Yes. Uh, we've got a little video here about a little bit mm. of your journey. So let, let's watch this first, <laughs> shall we? Let's have a look at this. <laughs> mm. So I came along and I, I was a little overwhelmed. Um, by all these lovely ladies and of course I was the only one that hadn't lost my hair at that stage so it did actually knock me back and I haven't worn makeup very often but I came away looking so gorgeous and everybody was telling me how beautiful I looked and I thought wow this is just fabulous and I wanted to come here today to share with other ladies to, you know, this is just fabulous. You know, even though, look at me, I'm sort of getting all teary, but, you know, it's like a butterfly. You just sort of transform into something really pretty. Oh, Kelly. Boy. Wow. <laughs> obviously emotional That brings still. it back a bit. <laughs> I bet it does. But you obviously got a lot out of it. It had a very positive effect on you, didn't it? Oh, totally. You know, these, these ladies uh, look to... I was totally overwhelmed at the very beginning because when I started, when I was working and then I got sort of bamboozled mm. with the cancer, you know, I think, what am I going to do? How am I going to deal with this? And where am I going to go? And losing my hair and, you know, you get this all this thrown on you and yeah. you just sort of go, oh my God, what am I going to do? And so, of course, you know, I, I didn't know about Look Good, Feel Better at all at the time until I had this form and I thought, I'll look them up. And so I looked them up and... And then I had this other lovely lady that uh, kept wanting me to come to these courses, you know, this, this yeah. workshop. So I got there and I couldn't really tell who was actually the, 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 the people who were actually getting the treatment or who was the cancer people because they, the, apart from the ones that wore the, the, the scarves, right. you sort of thought, okay, well, there's, there's some. Yeah. So when we all went down and we sat down at these lovely big tables and the mirrors and all the makeup there and that, mm. then all the wigs started coming off and the scarves coming off and I was the only one with hair. And I just, and of course Desiree, the lady that was tutoring at the time, she goes, right, well, we'll just put you right at the beginning of the table. Oh. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh my, you know, and I'm the only one with hair. And of course I just got so overwhelmed. But you know what? That was the first time that I actually felt and she sort of showed me how to put eyebrows yeah. on they showed you how to do things how to do your scarf how to do you know it was these are the things that are very important aren't they when you're going through the whole process process a little bit of time for you yes. well you're looking wonderful mm. now Kelly oh thank you Julie thank can you, you tell yes. me um how do people get involved if people are sitting at home go I want to help volunteer how do I get involved with this well I guess just like me um go onto the website mm -hmm. fill out the form and there are so many ways in which you can be involved in the charity. Um, it's not just putting on the makeup for yeah. the workshops. We do great fundraising oh, yes. activities. Yes, they do. And yes, um, yeah. there's a lot of different avenues, and you don't need to be qualified. Um, there's fantastic training and mentoring. Um, so it's just it sounds wonderful. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure having you both here, Julie thank and Kelly. You. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. And if you would like to volunteer or donate, go to lgfb.co.nz.